Hi, this is an example of uh, multiple loops in Comfy UI. Okay, what we're trying to do here is loop through these prompts like a prompt scheduler. This is the prompt, this is the number of frames. And when we run it, we should get, we should loop through the prompt, the first prompt 10 times, the second prompt five times. Um, this is the start of the loop, the end of the loop, the outer loop, and we have to connect it by the flow control to know which loop this open and close node belong to. This is the inner loop. Uh, connect it with the flow control. Um, okay, the outer loop. Just simply goes through the prompts. First prompt, second prompt. The inner loop will go through the first prompt 10 times and then it will start again, go through the second prompt five times. Um, everything that you want to use has to be connected to these values. This is at the start of the loop, this is the value that's coming out. Um, and then you change the value and you put it back into the end of the loop. And then in, in the next the next time when the loop runs, it will take it again uh, from what you have put into it at the end of the loop. So if you put in if it starts off at one and you put in um, two at the end of the loop, in the next time the loop runs, it will start it at two. So this thing here just splits the string up into an array, into a list. So it's first prompt, second prompt. The length of the list goes into the remaining number, the remaining number in the loop. Okay, there's two remaining. The remaining number at the start of the loop is how many times you want to run it. The remaining number at the output is how many times it's got to go. So in this case, we're only running it twice. The remaining number will be two and then one, and that's it. And but the, the list. Is actually it starts at zero. The list is um, zero and one. The items in the list. So what we do is we just take the remaining number, subtract it by one, so that it's zero and one. And we take that item from the list. So here it would be like n comma first prompt. So we have to split that string up by the comma. And at this point, it will be the frame number 10, the uh, prompt, first prompt goes here. And this frame number goes in here. It, it starts off as a string because it's a string, and then we convert to an int. And then the inner loop will run um, however many times was in the string, which is 10 for the first prompt, second, five for the second prompt here. And uh, these values came from the outer loop. This is the outer loop. This is the inner loop. So the, the first value is the frame number. We start off at the frame zero. And the second value is nothing. And we use that as the accumulation. The accumulation doesn't have to start off with anything. So we just add the frame number by one every time we run it. We'll add it by one and we'll convert the frame number to a string, format it so that it looks like frame, frame number, and then the prompt, the prompt, which comes from the second part of the string, second part of the line. And from there, there. Um, okay, and then we add it to the accumulation. The accumulation is just like an array. So to add here, is the same as push, push into the accumulation array. And the accumulation came from value two. The accumulation, um, we change it and we put it back to the loop close so that we can use it again in the next time in the loop close. Then. So it goes from the, um, all the values, in value one, value two goes from the inner loop back to the same spot in the outer loop.
And once it's all finished, we can, the value one was the frame count. So here we have the frame number of frames we ran. Um, value two was the accumulation, the array. And you have to put in this accumulation to list because the accumulation doesn't do anything by itself. It needs to be converted to a list. And we just join this list into a string and that's what it looks like. And we ran it with just one first prompt. And you get one first prompt. This is another example, except um, it's the same thing, except it draws an image from the prompts. Um, so here we just add another uh, value here, value three, and we'll hook it up from the outer loop to the same value three in the inner loop so that um, whatever we change in value three gets copied each time we run the inner loop and each time we run the outer loop. So each with these values, each time we run this inner loop, here, it'll, it'll go into the inner loop. It'll go into a loop close and then it'll come back out on, on the loop open. And we change it here and it goes to the loop close, loop open, like that. So we have to hook value free up back up to the outer loop as well because we want it to keep its value when it's running through the outer loop. Um, yeah, the only difference here is that we put um, value free and we'll put this standard image generator thing here, except we're putting um, the frame text into the, as the positive prompt. That's the prompt. Um, and here, the value three goes into the accumulate, the accumulation. So in the accumulation, it's, the accumulation is an array, and to add is to, to push something into the array. So we've, when we download the image, we push it into the image array, and the accumulation goes back up to value three. And at the end of it, at the end of the outer loop, value three goes um, into this node accumulation to list because the accumulation doesn't do anything until you convert it to a list. If we were just previewing this list, we could just preview it here with the preview image node. But if you want to make it into a video, you'll have to use this rebatch node and set the batch size to a big number. And it will, otherwise, for some reason, it works with the preview node, but it needs this um, rebatch for the video. Oh, so it will just make like one video a frame if you don't do that. After you, you can, yeah, that's what it will look like.